What is up, man? 25 Gamers. This week's episode is going to be pretty simple. It's our sim tip of the week. We're going to focus on um, the core running play from the Peyton Manning offense. And, and this was out uh, of the single back doubles often. It was called inside zone or, in this example, they call it halfback smash. All right. Basically, if there was a... If I, let, me, let me grab the whole article for you. But it was, it was basically a, a quick snap type of run. Um, running play. Give me a moment to pull up the article. I apologize, but um, it was basically like a quick snap run play they used uh, when they had numbers advantage. So in this example here, we have six offensive linemen uh, because we have a tight end, and we have six guys. So we'll be able to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup across the board if we run this single back inside zone. And um, the basic, this is kind of the, the the main run out of Manning's playbook. Um, the main the main idea here, um, and basically, um, it's like a it's like a like a stretch as well. Like you see all times, like it is, I guess they call it like a pin and pull outside zone, is what it really is meant to be. But basically, it's just like a zone type of blocking scheme here, and the idea is the single back. The, the back wants to run, like, right off of the tight end's block here. So, something like this. You get the double team, and, and you're going to go off that edge. It's basically what's going to happen. And the main, uh, it probably works best, in my opinion, out of, like, a, a show blitz look. So, where they have someone over the center, it works really effectively. Because... When you run this, you're going to be able to get outside now. And now with C.J. Spiller, you, you know you can see the effectiveness of this play. There's also an outside version of this. This is more of a this is the inside, so like you're going to split and go upfield here. But again, it's a uh, it's it's a zone run, so you could do you could go inside and outside. So like you start inside, go outside, and that's probably my favorite ver way to run it because you see the big play potential. But this is just a very simple check down run type of play. Um, this is more of a traditional inside zone. I think we got one more video for you guys next week to kind of finish it all out. Um, and we're going to talk about uh, the the true idea of what the pin and pull zone was. Pu pu pin and pull zone play was. Because uh, I do need to look into that a little bit more. But this is the basics. And, and like I said, this is a quick snap run. You want to use it when you have... Um, numbers. So if we want to flip it to the left, we can actually do that. And you see, you'll still get that double team on the center, and that's going to allow you to get up field for those those crucial yards, guys. Crucial yardage here. And then if they if they run commit middle, you can get break to the outside. Or ever they overplay, you're going to go in behind. You're going to basically attack the defense's weakness. You see here, you get again that no, that double team blocking on the outside for a quick five six yards. This is that running play, guys, that we see Manning use often, often with Joseph Adai and um, now with Noah Sean Marino and Ronnie Hillman. So thank you for your time today. Another sim tip. Uh, you like to use this run. Like I said, no huddle situations. I will done to that single back doubles inside zone. One of the better runs in the game. We'll take a little bit deeper look into the Colts running attack next week as we take a look at the pin and pull play. That was probably the more unique play of the two. But uh, for right now, I wanted to just introduce you to the zone run. So that's what we're using uh, in the Manning offense. Thank you for your time. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave me some feedback on what I can improve on. And also uh, what, you, what you got out of this video, if it was useful or not. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.